subscribe and press this bell icon to never miss another lecture video. Hi, welcome to Jill Gate ESC lecture. We are in lecture number 19 of signal system and this is your second module discrete time signals. Now here we are going to start the classification of discrete time signal. Same as that of continuous time signal. We are also going to divide it by deterministic and non-deterministic, periodic, non-periodic, symmetric, anti-symmetric that is even and odd, energy and uh, power signal, causal, non-causal, anti-causal signal as we have divided it into these much amount of types in continuous time domain. Now let's start with the deterministic and non-deterministic as the name suggests the same definition. Deterministic is which can be determinable, determinable and can be specified by mathematical equation which this is the, this is the like the signals which can be expressed with the signal which can be communicated. So these are the actual deterministic signals, determinable. So basically you just try to remember it can be specified by mathematical equation but this cannot be specified by mathematical equation noise signals jaise hote hai na wahi sab hote hai non deterministic signal we can't determine those signals okay clear i'm leaving this this is a very simple thing ram step exponential sinusoidal sync function all of these signals types are deterministic kyunki these are can be defined or specified by specified by Mathematical equation. Now let's get into periodic and non-periodic discrete time signals. Here in this video lecture, I'm going to discuss about periodic and non-periodic discrete time signals. Look, there are several methods, several methods uh, to find out uh, periodicity and non-periodicity. But the kind of old school method that I'm going to follow to make you understand, please follow that. Okay, may have a shortcut bhi bata sakta hu, but I don't want you to apply at least in this subject this shortcut because that is a bit like scary like bohat jaga pe wo kaam bhi nahi karta shortcut so, so I'm only going to teach you for periodic and non-periodicity I'm sorry periodicity and non-periodicity of discrete time signals the old school method okay we're going to discuss this uh, briefly in this video lecture in the next video lecture we'll get into symmetric and anti-symmetric now let's get into the concept of periodic and non-periodic as we know in continuous time domain in continuous time domain x of t plus t equals to x of t where t is the fundamental time period similarly in a discrete time there will be capital n where n will be fundamental time period so graphically i can represent it in this way white yellow pink green this much amount of samples 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 these much amount of samples is repeated after this interval so fundamental time period is four because four samples four samples is repeating four samples is repeating so n value is four clear eh? always remember or n is always an integer because in discrete time signals we always take integer values we don't take any rational numbers right now let's get into uh, examples jump into examples now let's 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 uh, start discussing about couple of very interesting um, simple examples now this is this is a, a x of n which is given sine 6 pi by 7 into n plus 1 okay now look here i'm going to put x of n plus n n plus n in place of n i'm going to replace n plus n so it will give you 6 pi by 7 all into n plus n plus 1 now if you if you expand it you'll get this much amount of expression look here carefully so this expression is my original expression this expression is original expression look here look here look here look here look here yes or no so so i can say this part is extra so this part has to be a multiple of it has to be a multiple of 2 pi m so that m is an integer m is an integer so that to get to get key uh, x of n plus n equals to x of n ye hone ke liye ye wala 2 pi m hona chahiye clear hai ye concept so what we are going to do we are going to replace this 6 we are going to equalize this 6 pi by 7 into n ko hum log equal karenge m into 2 pi se so here we are going to get the value of n in terms of m look here carefully n in terms of m n in terms of m now m and n n 
and m both belongs to integer value both belongs to integer value i'm only talking about m here so what is the so what are the m values what are the m values so we'll consider only those m values listen to this carefully only those m values for which n value will be integer so what is the minimum value of m which will give the value of n as integer 3 3 into 3 that will be 1 so you will get a minimum value of n that is 7 which is integer so for m value is 3 6 9 12 and etc n will give you integer value so the minimum value will be 7 so fundamental uh, fundamental period uh, obtained for m equals to 3 for m equals to 3 that is n equal to 7 so n equals to 7 is that is 7 samples i can say in this way 7 samples this is the fundamental time period of this fundamental time period of this 6 pi by 7 into n plus 1 sine 6 pi by 7 n plus 1 ka fundamental time period ho gaya 7 samples okay now i'm getting into a little bit difficult zone look here carefully i have replaced this uh, angle value with n by 8 minus pi now look here i i've i've replaced n by n plus n so you can see here if you put this thing so you'll get uh, your original term like this look here carefully you got your original term so the extra part is n by 8 now the old school method equal n by 8 with 2 pi m so if you do that so n will come out to be 16 pi whole into m 16 pi whole into m now the worst condition the way what if gandhi baat ye hai ki abhi m ka koi bhi value dalo where m is always belongs to integer okay so there is a not a single value of m there is not a single value of there is not a single integer value value of m which will give you n as an integer value so x of n is not periodic x of n is a not periodic clear hai ye concept now let's get into another example it is a other this is a very different kind of solving this question look here carefully x of n is it is a very different question cos pi by 8 into n square pi by 8 into n square so what I'm going to do, let n be the fundamental time period. Look here, magic will be magic. Hoga. n be a fundamental time period. Now I'm going to equalize this terminology with 2 pi m directly by replacing this n value with n square. Please have a clarity on this. If it's this way of question, you will have to method follow this way of question. Because this is equivalent hai to the format of cos 2 pi m cos to oh as you i'm sorry cos omega not m that is your that is your 2 pi f not into m so agar aap uske saath equal karoge so it will give you something some value of like similarity like this clear this concept so in this if you if you this is the main core point okay yahi pe hai matlab aapka climax isi ko hi aapko seekhna hai पूरे क्वेश्चन में यही पार्ट है सीखने वाला वो पिछले वाले क्वेश्चन में पूरे पार्ट है यही वाला पोर्शन सीखने वाला क्लियर है सो so, ये वाला पोर्शन आपको सीखना है प्लीज गो थ्रू दिस नोट्स अगेन एंड अगेन यू विल अंडरस्टैंड सो n स्क्वायर इज नथिंग बट m 2 pi 8 by pi व्हिच इज इक्वल टू 16m सो हियर यू विल गेट n इन टर्म्स ऑफ m n इन टर्म्स ऑफ m सो m m when m belongs to look here when m belongs to 1 square 2 square 3 square so when m belongs to these integer integer values that subsequent value of those m values will give you an n as integer so let's take so what, what will be the what will be the fundamental time period for this function sir m ke jagah mein a minimum value put karo na 1 square put kar lenge to kitna niklega n equals to uh, 4 into 1 that is 4 niklega sir ha so fundamental time period is 4 samples clear now last question is a completely different look here carefully this is your complex exponential signal complex exponential signal now i'm going to do n is replaced by n plus n so if you do so e to the power uh, j7 pi n into e to the power j7 pi uh, capital n now this value look here carefully this value this value per periodicity per periodicity this value <coughs> this 7 pi n this angle value it must be equal to the integral multiple of 2 pi this value must be equal to the integral multiple of 2 pi so <coughs> because kyunki e to the power j 2 pi into m equals to 1 hota hai na to isliye isko aap integral multiple of 2 pi ke saath combine karoge to aapko milega 7 pi n into 7 
pi capital N, which is equals to M into 2 pi, where N will be in the terms of M, that is 2 by 2 by 7 into m so when uh, the what are the integer values for m that is valid for getting n value as integer sir m is 7 14 21 aise dalenge to n ka value integer aayega sir absolutely correct so you got this expression yahan pe climax kahan pe tha ye wala terminology ye wala ye wale case mein yahi pe aapka concept hai ye wale question mein clear hai isko aapko janna hai isko aapko seekhna hai theek hai this is a different way so yahan pe fundamental time period will be two samples two samples the first wala hai na वही है टू सैंपल्स ओके सो क्लियर है ये सारे कॉन्सेप्ट वेरी सिंपल एंड वेरी क्रूशियल सब्जेक्ट पीरियोडिसिटी एंड आपको इतना ही सीखना है ज्यादा नहीं सीखना और अगर आगे आपको वैसा वाला क्वेश्चन आया ना लाइक डिफरेंट साइनोसोडियल टर्म डिफरेंट साइनोसोडियल टर्म तो आपको पता है मैंने कंटिन्यूस टाइम डोमेन में आपको सिखाया है ना कि एच सी एफ बाई एल सी एम ऐसे करके निकालने के लिए एच सी एफ बाई एल सी एम ऑफ ऊपर के और नीचे के तो वो आप वैसे निकाल सकते हो इट्स अ वेरी सिंपल थिंग ठीक है सी यून द नेक्स्ट वीडियो लेक्चर ऑफ सिमेट्रिक एंड एंटी सिमेट्रिक डिस्क्रीट टाइम सिग्नल्स टिल देन प्लीज गो थ्रू दिस लेक्चर वीडियोज लेक्चर नोट्स ब्रीफली इट्स माई रिकमेंडेशन टू यू बिकॉज दिस क्वेश्चन आर वेरी वैल्यूएबल एंड डू फॉलो दिस ओल्ड स्कूल मेथड डू नॉट अपग्रेड योर माइंड आई आई एम सजेस्टिंग यू प्लीज डोंट अपग्रेड योर माइंड विथ वेरियस फॉर्मूलाज टू गेट डिस्क्रीट तो देर इज नो शॉर्टकट्स देर आर शॉर्टकट्स बट वो शॉर्टकट्स आपके गेट के एग्जाम में अचानक काम नहीं करते काफी क्वेश्चन ऐसे अड़दम करके डाल देते हैं वो लोग ठीक है आपको अचानक वो दिमाग में नहीं आएगा सो हमेशा ये ओल्ड स्कूल मेथड प्रैक्टिस करना थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो लेक्चर प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब एंड लाइक दिस वीडियो टिल देन सी यू बाय